Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about a very powerful component in certain foods, foods, specifically berries, and how, while I would not suggest using them to counteract really bad dietary choices for people that are unhealthy, that's what they did in this particular study. And let's start by saying that Mother Nature provides us with lots of protective compounds. Uh, the different colors and scents and flavors that we have in nature are all there for a reason. And a lot of these compounds that are responsible for giving plants, let's say berries, their dark color, are protective for us. One uh, the very large group is the bioflavonoids and the polyphenols. Um, specifically, anthrocyanidins are compounds known in uh, things like blueberries. It's, it's responsible for the blue pigment of blueberries. And specifically, more beneficial in wild blueberries, more so than organic. So if you have opportunity to buy wild blueberries, that is always going to be your best bet. Uh, generally, I'm not a big fan of fruit, but the darker berries have enough of a or pack enough of a wallop to counteract the the calories and the carbs that might be present in them. Things like apples and oranges, not so much so. They're designed to be eaten in season, which we don't really have seasons anymore. But if we did, they were only designed to be eaten then. So why am I discussing all of this? It was a study done on people who were pre-diabetic so metabolic syndrome, they already had you know, increased risk for all kinds of bad stuff. And they fed these people a high fat, high sugar diet, like exactly what we shouldn't be eating. Uh, but let's say maybe you went on a cruise or you did that all-inclusive Mexican vacation and you just took in too much. And what they did is they gave these people 26 grams of freeze-dried blueberries, about the equivalent of a cup. And they found that the blueberries, when given in the presence of a high-fat, high-sugar diet, pretty much protected against everything bad that otherwise would have happened. All of the lipids, so HDL looked better, cholesterol looked better, triglycerides looked better, fasting insulin, fasting glucose, they all looked better uh, just from taking in these blueberries along with this toxic meal. Now, um, and keep in mind, these were people who were already unhealthy. so. So not that I would suggest going off the edge, but what about adding in these types of compounds? And I'm a big fan of adding more phytonutrients in our diet. And this same class that we find in berries, uh, this is specifically as blueberries, but other darker berries, so your strawberries, your raspberries, your, um, uh, yeah, you know, the other berries. Um, what's the raspberry, blueberries, blackberries, uh, cranberries. These are all very beneficial compounds. We'll also find the same class of compounds in dark chocolate, in tea, in coffee. It's one of the reasons why I'm always trying to add these things into my diet as much as possible. Um, and But keeping them, those types of foods in our diet are generally very good for our cardiovascular our heart and brain protection risk. This is not the first study to show that. This is just yet another in a very large chunk of studies that finds that these polyphenols, these protective compounds in berries are very good for you. As always, I will post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.